In this video, we're going to do a deep dive on an upcoming NFT drop called Poglin, which I believe could be a significant opportunity for those of us here in the NFT gaming space. Before we get into it though, please be aware that nothing in this video is financial advice. It is simply for educational and entertainment purposes. So Poglin is an intellectual property centric NFT drop about a fantasy world full of unique creatures from different elemental tribes, which each possess unique combat abilities. The team plans to build Poglin into a multimedia IP which establishes itself as a versatile product tailored for anime, gaming, and Web3 experiences as well as physical merchandise. To conceptualize the lore and establish a strong anime aesthetic, the Poglin team has collaborated with a yet-to-be-disclosed Hollywood writer and well-known animator to bring the world and its characters to life and provide a basis for their flagship title, which will be a card battle game called Poglin Slam. Poglin Slam is a free-to-play, blockchain-based online competitive card game, the aim of which is to firstly collect Poglins, then assemble the most powerful teams possible, and battle them head-to-head -head against other live PvP opponents. Players will have the opportunity to benefit from the digital asset ownership that NFT integration provides, and Web3 traders can participate in the marketplace dynamics which result from Poglin Slam's in-game mechanics. So far, the Poglin community has experienced rapid growth over the past two weeks, and both the Discord members and Twitter follow accounts have hit impressive numbers, which indicates a fair degree of organic hype for the NFT drop. The social media engagement seems relatively authentic, although very grindy, as community members are incentivized to engage constantly. But this is to be expected as the current community growth meta is heavily reliant on Twitter raids and social media content tasks. The Poglin team includes developers which have previously worked on games such as Disney Sumsum, Pokemon Medallion Battle, Transformers Earth Wars, Rodeo Stampede, Sonic Dash, and Fishing Star World Tour, among many others. This indicates that the team has the necessary experience to follow through with their development pipeline and ship a finished gaming product, or at the very least, a capacity to deliver on their promised project milestones. In terms of financial support and partnerships, the Poglin team has secured grants from both the Arbitrum and Sui blockchain initiatives, and the project is backed by gaming giant Animoca Brands, just like like every other successful project that we've seen in the past two years. Poglin has also partnered with OpenSea to launch their projects Mint on the OpenSea platform, which will bring a significant degree of attention on release as OpenSea is, regardless of whether you like it or not, the biggest marketplace in the space. So that's also a very bullish sign. The Mint will include a total supply of 5,600 NFTs and it will take place on the 12th of December on the Ethereum blockchain. The exact time has not yet been released. The Poglin team's hype strategy seems to be centered around a slow drip of Twitter and Discord announcements of bullish project details to the community. There are also token airdrop rumors, which are very meta right now as well. And to be honest, I think it is a strong meta that will continue for the foreseeable future. Although in the case of Poglin, these airdrop rumors have not been confirmed by the team. And of course, shipping the game's release is also a focal point of this Genesis NFT's value proposition. Currently, there is no detailed roadmap or white paper available, but I assume that these will be released post-mint in order to bolster interest in the project and sustain hype as the NFTs become become tradable. I personally do not have whitelist for this project at the time of publishing this video, so I am just presenting my honest opinion based on the trends I'm seeing in the market right now. I'm in the process of producing a lot of upcoming content for several different NFT games for the channel, and I don't really have the time to mindlessly grind in these discords, but currently the whitelisting process for Poglin involves an RNG-based economic game inside of the discord, which members can play to eventually buy a whitelist spot with the points called Basto tokens. Once they have accumulated at least 8,000 Basto tokens, they can purchase a whitelist with these points. 
There are also Alphabot raffle giveaways for whitelist spots inside the Discord, and community members can also be whitelisted by winning community events, such as upcoming gaming tournaments called Clash of the Tribes. The team will also award whitelists for consistent and noticeable community participation. I hope this was a helpful breakdown of the Poglin NFT drop, and I'm wishing the Poglin team the absolute best for their mint on the 12th of December. The more solid gaming projects with experienced teams and builders that we see in this space, the better it is going to be for everyone. If you're interested in supporting the channel, please hit the like button, subscribe, turn on the notifications, and check out the resources in the video description. Until next time, my friends, stay safe.